amazing news. The latest footage from SpaceX following each Starship flight has been eagerly awaited by many of us. Well, SpaceX has just unveiled it. The successful completion of S-30's journey is beyond impressive, with its vertical controlled landing and more. It definitely exceeded even the highest of expectations. This achievement paves the way for numerous possibilities. For instance, the NASA rover Perseverance recently captured the solar eclipse on Mars. The S-30's milestone achievement brings us closer to a future where humans might directly witness such extraordinary scenes on the Martian surface. Are you excited? Let's dive into today's episode of Great SpaceX to explore this incredible development. Just a few days ago, SpaceX's live stream showed us the remarkable landing process of S-30. With the support of Starlink and an unobstructed view angle similar to Flight 4, the re-entry process was nothing short of impressive. At the end of its journey, the camera angle on the ship showed the landing burn process. Although this angle made it challenging to see the exact landing process, a few seconds later S-30 likely sunk into the ocean. When the camera angle switched to a distant location, we witnessed a powerful explosion, a dramatic conclusion to the mission. Initially, I didn't analyze the S-30's landing process much, however, SpaceX's recent revelation changed everything. On X, SpaceX posted a video from a different far angle, like far angle, likely set on a buoy they had previously placed nearby. The video lasts 21 seconds, starting when the ship activated the landing burn around T plus 1 hour, 5 minutes, and 23 seconds. This aligns with the live stream as the landing burn began at this milestone and ended about 21 seconds later at around T plus 1 hour 5 minutes and 44 seconds when the camera on the ship lost signal due to the explosion. Thanks to the support of the engines, S-30 looked super cool against the dark sky of the Indian Ocean. The three gimbal engines performed well during deceleration, helping the ship land at a controlled speed. It continuously changed direction to navigate and adjust to a vertical posture assisted by the flaps. This intricate dance of technology and engineering marvels was a sight to behold. As S-30 approached the ocean's surface, the ship was in a vertical state. The water splashed up by the thrust's impact couldn't obscure the shadow of Starship behind. Landing rockets vertically was once deemed impossible due to the challenges of atmospheric re-entry, deceleration, and controlled descent, which often led to failed or high recovery costs. SpaceX, however, has mastered this technology, setting a new standard and reducing the need for expendable components, making space travel more sustainable and affordable. And now, SpaceX can completely achieve the same with Starship. In their tweet, SpaceX announced Starship flip maneuver and landing burn on its fifth flight test. Vehicle improvements ensured flaps were protected from high heating, resulting in a controlled entry and high accuracy splashdown at the targeted area in the Indian Ocean. Previously, Musk confirmed, ship landed precisely on target, second of the two objectives achieved. This was demonstrated during the flight. Thanks to the heat shield upgrades, parts of the ship, especially the flaps, were protected from the harshness of re-entry, avoiding damages seen in previous flights. The flaps, combined with the engine system, performed flip maneuvers and controlled landings at the planned location using the vertical landing method. This successful execution really exceeded many expectations, especially after witnessing the dramatic journey of S-29. The success of S-30 is more than just a technical milestone. It symbolizes a shift in how we approach space travel. In fact, this triumphant landing sets the stage for SpaceX to consider landing with the Mechazilla arm, similar to B-12. Musk highlighted this in his tweet, Starship achieved a precise soft landing in the ocean, paving the way for return to launch site and being caught by the tower arms, like the booster. He further added, Full and rapid reusability improves the cost of access to orbit and beyond by over 10,000%. 
It is the fundamental technology breakthrough needed to make life multiplanetary and for us to become a true spacefaring civilization. Even though SpaceX hasn't caught the ship yet, Musk's visionary statements hint at a revolutionary future for the aerospace industry. Full and rapid reusability will transform space rocket operations, enabling faster flight speeds and significantly reduced costs. We've already seen a glimpse of this with Falcon 9, but remember, Falcon 9 is only partially reusable. Starship promises even greater advancements, crucial for costly missions like Mars colonization. Musk previously set ambitious goals, reflying Super Heavy every hour, the ship every day, leading to thousands of flights per year. He also outlined a plan to launch 10 starships with a payload exceeding 200 tons per day, aiming to transport a million tons to Mars in 10 years. Following Super Heavy, the next step in this effort will be the first ship-catching attempt planned for next year. Based on what we've seen in the ship landing video, catching the ship on the next flight seems feasible. Are you excited about that? Reply, catch them all, in the comment section to encourage SpaceX. Then, like, share, and subscribe to our channel to continue following SpaceX's development journey. But, of course, that's just my opinion. SpaceX likely has additional strategies in place for this ambitious endeavor. For instance, Musk's recently shared schedule highlights the company's robust planning. It's indeed challenging to believe that despite the successful execution of Flight 5, there will be no more flights this year. However, with the attempt to catch the ship scheduled for early next year, SpaceX might still allocate another flight to land in the ocean to bolster reliability. In preparation for Flight 5 last month, SpaceX also completed a static fire test with S-31. Subsequently, Musk confirmed that Flight 6 will be ready to fly before Flight 5 even gets approved by the FAA. This statement underscores SpaceX's unwavering commitment to progress and readiness, as well as their sassiness. Yet there remains work to be done. Firstly, the heat shield requires further upgrades to ensure the ship's protection, particularly the sensitive components like the flaps. The upgrades implemented over recent months have shown initial effectiveness, evidenced by the flawless reentry we witnessed. Additionally, the engine, although performing well in recent landing attempts, necessitates improvements to facilitate future navigation and landing with the Megazilla arm. On the ground, critical systems such as the Orbital Launch Mount, or OLM, the tower, and especially the chopsticks, need continuous upgrades to be primed for catching both stages. The complexity of catching both stages is significantly heightened, especially when the ship returns from orbit. Nonetheless, SpaceX can derive confidence from the successful performance of the chopsticks with Super Heavy in the recent flight, laying a solid foundation for catching the ship. To achieve full reusability, SpaceX must further enhance the reliability of catching Super Heavy. While success has been achieved, complacency is not an option. Some steps remain unoptimized, and only by addressing these can SpaceX truly attain full reusability, paving the way for rapid reusability of the Starship. Once this milestone is reached, we can set our sights on even more ambitious goals, such as lunar and Martian missions. Among these, Mars stands out as the ultimate objective and the primary reason for the creation of the Starship. Speaking of Mars, NASA's recent announcement brings even more exciting news. On September 30th, the Perseverance rover captured a solar eclipse on Mars, with its left mast cam Z documenting the event as Mars's moon Phobos passed between the planet and the sun, similar to the solar eclipses we experience on Earth. In the series of photographs, you can distinctly see the irregular shape of Phobos, which resembles a lumpy potato. Being the larger of Mars's two tiny moons, it is not spherical like our moon or many other moons in our solar system. Measuring approximately 17 miles by 14 by 11 miles, or 27 by 22 by 18 kilometers, Phobos orbits Mars at an exceptionally close distance, much closer than our moon to Earth, of just 3,700 miles, or 6,000 kilometers. In comparison, our moon circles Earth at an average distance of 238,855 miles, or 384,400 kilometers. Remarkably, Phobos is a rapid traveler, completing three orbits of Mars within a single day. Despite its small size, which might make it look like an asteroid, Phobos' perfectly synchronized orbit around Mars qualifies it as a natural satellite of the planet, along with Deimos, similar to Earth's moon. 
These two moons harbor many mysteries, awaiting exploration when humanity eventually reaches Mars. Perseverance's recent photographic series of Phobos is not the first time the rover has documented a solar eclipse. It previously captured this celestial event with the oblong moon transiting the sun in April of 2022 and February of 2024. Additionally, preceding rovers Spirit and Opportunity in 2004 as well as Curiosity in 2019 also witnessed this extraordinary phenomenon. Such moments remind us that the dream of witnessing these events firsthand on Mars is no longer far-fetched. SpaceX's relentless progress with Starship brings us closer to realizing this goal, making it possible for future generations to stand on the Martian surface and experience these wonders themselves. I believe that we humans have always dreamed of one day standing on Mars to witness these magical moments firsthand. A few years ago, many people were probably skeptical about this possibility, but with SpaceX's ambitious plans, the Starship program, and the success of Flight 5 involving both Super Heavy and Ship, I am convinced that this dream is within reach and on the path to becoming a reality. Do you want to be a part of this incredible journey? If so, respond with let me go in the comment section to let me know. Thank you for joining us on today's episode of Great SpaceX. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on SpaceX's journey toward making space travel a reality for everyone. Until next time, keep your eyes on the stars.